So question number one, solve the equation 7 hyperbolic sec x minus hyperbolic tan x is equal to 5 and we need to give our answers in the form ln a where a is a rational number. So let's get back to the paper and pen. So here's the equation that we need to solve. Now if you're unaware of how to approach a problem like this, I have created a video whereby I go through similar examples and I provide a link to that video in the description below. However, let me show you how this is done. Now we need to use the definitions for hyperbolic sec x and hyperbolic tan x in order to help us work out the answers. So as a note, hyperbolic sec x has the definition. So hyperbolic sec is 1 over hyperbolic cos. So it's 1 over hyperbolic cos x. And hyperbolic cos x has the definition e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2. But we're taking the reciprocal. So the definition of hyperbolic sec is 2 over e to the x plus e to the minus x. So that is the definition for hyperbolic sec. Whereas hyperbolic tan, hyperbolic tan has a definition e to the x minus e to the minus x divided by e to the x plus e to the minus x. So the definition of hyperbolic tan, hyperbolic tan comes from hyperbolic sine over hyperbolic cos x. And using the definitions of hyperbolic sine x and hyperbolic cos x, you can get the definition of hyperbolic tan x, which is this. Now, I'm going to replace hyperbolic sec and hyperbolic tan x by the definitions involving the exponentials to give us 7 hyperbolic sec x, which is 2 over e to the x plus e to the minus x minus hyperbolic tan x let's replace that by e to the x minus e to the minus x divided by e to the x plus e to the minus x and that is equal to 5. Now I want to get rid of the e to the x plus e to the minus x terms here and here so let's therefore multiply this entire equation by e to the x plus e to the minus x. So if I multiply the entire equation by that, I'm going to have as a result, so 7 into 2, which is 14, minus the e to the x minus e to the minus x, that is equal to, and by multiplying 5 by this term as well, we'll have 5 into e to the x plus e to the minus x. Now, let's get rid of these brackets. So we're going to have 14 minus e to the x minus times minus is a plus e to the minus x. That is equal to 5 times e to the x is 5e e to the x. 5 times e to the minus x is 5e e to the minus x. Now, let's rearrange this. So let me bring all of my terms to one side. So if I bring the, these three terms from the left to the right hand side, so if I move these three terms from the left to the right hand side, this is what we're going to have. So we're going to have 5e to the x. If I bring the minus e to the x to the right as well, that will give us 6e to the x. Okay. And if I bring the e to the minus x term to the right as well. So 5e to the minus x minus e to the minus x is plus 4e to the minus x. And 14 to the right is minus 14. That is equal to zero. I don't like negative powers. So let's try and get rid of these negative powers. So if I multiply everything by e to the power plus x, to cancel this negative power. 6e to the x times e to the x then is 6e to the power x squared plus the 4. e to the minus x times e to the plus x is 1. 
So it's just 4 minus 14 times e to the x is 14 e to the x. That is equal to 0 times e to the x is 0. So I got rid of that negative power by multiplying by e to the power plus x. So I'm going to rearrange this to give me 6e to the power x squared. Bringing the minus 14e to the x next to that term plus the 4 is equal to 0. So I have a quadratic equation involving an exponential function. Now you don't need to do this, but if I use the substitution, so if I let t equal e to the x, my I'm going to create a quadratic involving t. So if I replace all, to, all the e to the x terms by t, I'm going to have 6t squared minus 4t plus 4, which is 0. So my idea is to work out the t values first. And by working out the t values, we can go back to the substitution and work out the corresponding x's later. Now, I can reduce this equation. We can reduce it by dividing by 2. So if I divide every term by 2, this equation, this quadratic is reduced to 3t squared minus 7t plus 2, which is equal to 0. And you can either factorise or you can use the quadratic formula. So if you were to factorise, so this is what I'm going to do. The factors will be 3t minus 1 and t minus 2. Look, so. so 3t minus 1, t minus 2 is equal to 0. So let's find the values of t. So I have two values of t. So either 3t minus 1 is equal to 0, meaning that one of the t values is 1 over 3 when rearranged, or t minus 2 is equal to 0, and when you rearrange for t, t is 2. So I've got two values, one of them is 1 over 3 or third, the other of them being 2. Now if we go back to our substitution, t is e to the x. If I replace the t values 1 over 3 and 2 into our substitution, let's work out the corresponding x's. So since t is equal to e to the x, let's first see what happens when t is a third. So when t is a third, upon replacement, e to the x is 1 over 3. So when I rearrange for x, x therefore is ln 1 over 3. So that is one of the x values in terms of ln. However, we have another value of t, so let's deal with that also. So when t is equal to 2, so upon replacement here, we're going to have e to the x is equal to 2, so x therefore is ln 2. So here are the solutions in terms of ln. One of them is 1 over 3. The other one is ln 2. So that completes question number one. And that sadly ends this video. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, a like rating is very much appreciated. Do plenty of practice related questions and I hope to see you again. Thank you.